Well, group one racing returns to Club Angle on Saturday night with a very strong support card surrounding the four group one titles up for grab. As far as the support card is concerned, one of those races is the opening event on the card, the Rising Stars, and here I'm tipping the Roy Roots Jr. trained Marty Major. Now, Marty Major has been racing consistently. In fact, is a Menangle winner two starts back. And his form on this particular track, I think it will stand him in good stead as far as this particular field is concerned. So I think Marty Major can kick us off on the right note with Blake Hughes in the sulky in the Rising Stars. Another one of the strong support races on the card is race three, the JC Caffin play for the Indigenous Drivers. And here I'm sticking with the Paul Fitzpatrick trained DW. And like Marty Major, DW has been a very strong performer at Clubman Angle on a regular basis. And once again, in this field, I think it's a big plus. And David Caffin will well, be very keen to get his name on the JC Caffin honour roll. So DW, I think, will be very hard to beat in race three. Now to our four group one events. I'm sticking with Private Eye. I think there's something special about this fella. I think Robbie Morris will do the job for us from gate nine. I won't be worried about that. I think this fella has an X Factor Private Eye and I'm tipping him to take out the first of the group one titles. I'm sticking with Keep Rocking for Michael Doltoff in the three-year-old fillies. There was no fluke about her win here last Saturday night. Once again, Luke McCarthy will give her a very kind run close to the pegs. I think she will just explode over the concluding stages. Now to the two-year-olds, and once again, Craig Cross, Luke McCarthy looks set to dominate. Barroom Banter in the boys, I think he's a special performer, and he will be very hard to beat. While so El Elmazi, well, she's just been going from strength to strength since heading north. She's one of three starts here, and very impressive. She's a big, strong, robust type. I think so El Elmazi will take out the two-year-old girls race. So they're my thoughts as far as Menangle is concerned now so looking at melton on friday night and it is a meeting chock full of talent from start to finish races one to eleven there's certainly excitement plus as far as the program is concerned we're going to kick off in the opening event with Wolfstride master tactician anthony buck will have Wolfstride in the foreign line from the outset he now peaks four runs back from his belly has been consistent but this time around he draws ideally in gate two and i think that, that will make all the difference as far as Wolfstride is concerned well, in race two, catch a moment for Amanda Turmel. Now, catch a moment finished an excellent second behind the classy about time when resuming from a spell. On that occasion, the catch the moment was off the back row. This time around, gate one awaits catch a moment. I think he'll be the one to beat. So they're my thoughts as far as Milton is concerned. As I said, it's an outstanding program from races one to 11. So it's certainly great racing both Friday and Saturday night, starting with Milton and finishing with Clubman Angle on Saturday night. Until next week, good punting.